Is this a religion that you were born and raised in? No, my, I was born without religion. Um, and then uh, my, my parents became born. Oh, then my parents got born again individually. My dad was in prison and he said to God, God, I'll give you my life. If you know, but in fact he didn't say if, he just said I'll give you my life and then my mum gave me her life and then when they came together so from there we went to the Catholic Church because that's all we knew but it was the, the Catholics that were born again they said no we must be born again most Catholics don't say we should be born again then. meaning baptism yeah? no <laughs> born again is where your spirit is rebirthed Holy Spirit no, no your, your own spirit. Oh, okay. Your own spirit is regenerated. That's what the word is. How, how do you do it? Well, you, you believe in you believe in, in, in English. You would say Jesus Christ in what He done, what He done, which is He sacrificed. Uh, because we are not perfect, the standard is perfection. That's with Adam. Right. We believe Adam was perfect. And so we've fallen from the, the perfect standard. So we cannot get back to perfection. So what God done, he said, well, since you cannot do that in your own power, I will come and I will basically save you in my perfection through, through the law of sacrifice. Thanks for that, Eddie. I appreciate that. So, so um, now you've given me a bit of a base of your belief. I'll tell you, we're, we're Muslim, so we come here to preach that there's no deity worthy of worship but Allah. That's what, who we believe is our Lord, Master and Creator, yeah, the Almighty. Um, what I'd like to speak to you about is a few verses from Biblical Doctrine now. Um, and see if we can explore them, see if we can open them up and see if they if they have any kind of uh, connotations or any kind of conflict or contrast with your and all my beliefs, yeah? Yeah. So regarding sacrifice, so you as a Christian, as a Israelite, as you said, you come down to believe that, you believe that Jesus came to, to be sacrificed, yeah? Okay, so that's what he desired, sacrifice. Okay, so what I would say to that is this thing. First of all, in Hebrew, in Hebrew 5, 7, Jesus said, during the days of Jesus' life on earth, oh sorry, this is in Hebrews 5, 7, but it was. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with reverent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. So two points there, that he was crying to God, reverent tears, crying, saying, please save me from crucifixion. And secondly, that he was heard because of his submission to God. He was heard, so God helped him. Um, now, regarding this as well, Eddie, what you were saying about the sacrifice now, yeah? If you just bear with me, okay? Okay, so in Mark 138, Jesus said, let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages yes. so I can preach there also. I'm this, you. This, oh, that is why I'm I have come. come. Yes. So Jesus is saying the reason why he came is for that. Now, this is very profound. Oh. This is like very clear, very clear and concisive uh, in accordance to what you were saying, yeah? Yes. Just to relate, uh, to reply to that. So in, Ma in Matthew 9.13, Jesus said, but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy not sacrifice for I have not come to call the righteous but sinners so what my question to you is Eddie could you open up these verses and tell me how, how they don't show a conflict with your belief as an Israelite that Jesus came down for sacrifice where, whereas Jesus here himself professes that he came down to preach and for mercy and not for sacrifice and that he also called to God as well and asked God with reverent cries in Hebrew 5-7 with yes. reverent, reverent Christ and that God heard him that God basically he un answered uh, Jesus' cries for help and if you believe Jesus to be God as well which is a further point anyway an additional point who would he be crying to does that mean that God cried so if we can open that up Eddie please well first of all uh, um, on the sacrificial thing the sacrificial thing for us Israelites is totally different to the Christians the Christian has some kind of biblical text that he looks at and he says well you know I the sacrifice kind of means this but for an Israelite it's totally different it is the whole sacrificial system was part of the biblical system that we study and we believe in so it's not an abstract thing 
the whole system that God came to Moses and said sacrifice the bulls and the goats now as it says does the blood of bull and goats really wash your sin away of course it does not you can't get blood of a, of a, of a, of a bull and go like this and it washes away your sin <laughs> no so it was a symbol and that's what the whole Levitical priesthood all the Moses priesthood all the Zadok priesthood because the Zadok priesthood is the original priesthood from the Kizabah that's what it was, was about okay yeah. so so now do you take the New Testament as your book and the Old Testament as your book I don't call it Old and New Testament you I call it Bible it, yeah I call it I, I, I call it the covenant okay so do you take the covenant yes. as your book of faith yes yes okay yes. so thank you for that that was really in interesting to hear from you yeah, yeah, yeah however it still hasn't really debunked or gone against my no it's not about debunking it's the whole concept and if you even go to any yeah, but which concept you know, because we're talking the concept, about the concept is the concept is when like for instance when Adam sinned what did God do? He sacrificed an animal for the first time. So in our concept, there was no death or sacrifice before sin. Uh, people have different ideas. They say, no, 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 there was. But for us, there was not. So the sacrificial system is a system that um, is, is, first of all, the bull and goats was a, was, was a symbol. Even his God said to Adam and Eve, he said, you know, you're the Messiah the, your, will come, your Savior will come, you see? Yeah. And so he was saying, it's not, it's not the Allah, it's the real man who will come. Now the problem is... No, we don't believe Allah is a That's That's just yes. to know. Yes, I know, I know, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Pretty well. It's okay. Yes. I put my hand okay. there, there's only but one so, video. You know, regarding that, though, yeah. so yes. if you're saying it's about concepts, yeah. would you then go to say that the, your, your covenant is ah. the whole covenant? The whole covenant is, um, it's not it's just clear. Give up. Uh, it's very clear. So it's clear that Jesus said that yes. Jesus cried yes. to God. Yes. And God heard his cry in Genesis, uh, yes. sorry, in uh, Hebrews 5 yes. 7. Also, it says, I watched as we said, that and Jesus. Uh, and listen to okay, it. furthermore, watch this. Because yeah. yeah. they are, they are, they are like individual little points. First, you got to start with the but whole concept. Okay, but and this is something that we yeah, do. But that's what I'm yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just explaining. Yeah? This is something that we do as people of the book when we go to say, for instance, people who are born again but they're Christians. We say, no, no, no. You start off with the whole concept first, the whole covenant first, and then you go to the individual uh, bricks. Now let's go to those individual bricks. I want to ask okay, you right. about those bricks now. Yes. Under yes. under a microscope, telescope. Okay. Jesus clearly says, yeah, yes, that Jesus His clearly says. Desire. Now that comes from the Psalms, and it says in context, it says, "You did not desire what sacrifice." He's saying you didn't. And God says, I do not desire sacrifice. But you said earlier. I wait, wait. What he meant was, is the sacrifice of bulls and goats. But what he was saying was, is he wanted obedience. So when Christ. Why didn't he want came, to sacrifice bulls or goats? Because bulls and goats was not the real answer to the case. Like as a Muslim, as a Muslim, you say now. I'm going to go to the mosque, I'm going to get the water, I'm going to do this. A Muslim understands, and I'm saying a Muslim, not one with the name, a Muslim, understands that that's not what makes him clean. It's not the water he uses. So it's a symbolic element well, actually, that makes him, it's part of the, it's part but of actually, it, but I it's mean, not the water, what, what like I would you say, say, I've got dirt here. What, you I know? Would say, <laughs> what I would say in accordance to that, yeah. Yes. What I would say is that before shower gels and soaps and everything were invented, yes. nevertheless, they did use water to clean themselves. And of course. To this day, mm. you would never have a cleansing system without the use of water. For example, that is the base, that is the liquid base yes. that you would use alongside shower gels or soaps or whatever it may be. Yeah. It is water. So essentially, the water itself, Definitely, even yeah. though it's a way of us cleansing and purifying our insides, yeah, as what you're talking about, you know, part of the whole, uh, the whole covenant of things, as you were saying, yes, the, blood, the whole the thing, yeah. yeah. 
but at the same time yeah. it does physically cleanse us water does doesn't it you know when you have a shower you when you have a bath you yes, use water yes, yes, yeah, yeah. when we have rain yeah. rain cleanses Food the land does it not so i mean i'm saying that it comes from a, and from two, two points of perspective yeah. Yeah. but now when jesus says <laughs> that all right jesus didn't eat all right for example okay, i'm going to put the bible away for a minute yeah let's just talk because i know you're going to say everything is you have to look at the whole totality of things but i do want to break things down yes but just for now then all right let's look at this you start from there but yes okay let's start Let's start, we'll right start from, from the individual. Let's start words. from the father. Oh, Let's start from the father. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, do you I believe them, that God Himself uh, is the all seeing, yeah. all hearing, the all knowing, the all able, the all mighty, the all wise, the judge, the all powerful? Omnipotent, yes, okay, so so God knows everything. Now, if we were, for example, to explore a few verses, make a move first. Okay, if we were to, are you going, brother? I hope, inshallah, you guys have a beautiful marriage. You take care of yourself. You can leave your comments on the and make your dua on your plane back. Muhammad said the dua of the traveler, yeah, about the dua of the traveler. Biggest corner highlight. Oh, that's his one. On Guidance Avenue, it's ours. Okay. Okay, you can have easy cover. <laughs> yeah. I like your hat. Like it. All the best. Yeah, it's like it. Looks like it. If it was real snake, it'd be a lot of money. A lot of money. There'll be a lot on your head, man. There'll be a big price on your head. Price tag on his head. But um, yeah. So what I was gonna say is, so you believe God to be the all seeing, the all hearing, the all knowing, as we said. However. All right, we know that Jesus is not God, yeah? So if Jesus was God... When he was in human flesh, no, he limited himself. He limited himself. Because if he done... It God limited as, himself? Yes, God can do that. Okay, so when God, God limited wait, wait, himself... Wait, 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 you just said, yes. God is the all-powerful, the only... So can God do that if he's all-powerful? What I will say to answer this, <laughs> yes. and I'll, I'll give another I'll give another, uh, um, another metaphor that people... We already know the answer. Even a metaphor. Yeah. I mean, people come with this challenge. They'll say, okay, yeah. can God create a rock that he can't lift can God make himself and exist can God kill himself etc etc and what I will say to answer this question this there yeah, that's got nothing to <laughs> God doesn't say what we say as Muslims is this God has power over everything and this is what our brother from speakers corner highlights reminded us yesterday over a meal of uh, couscous about about this further to this yeah, is this look. if God is the all powerful the all seeing the all hearing the all knowing now when you say that he limited his attributes oh and by the way to say for example that God can't do something or this or that these kind of questions do not befit his majesty they do not befit his majesty to ask such questions it just doesn't fit together as you said yeah but what I will say is this look. so if for example as you as you claim that God he limited himself in human form as Jesus Christ yes. no man can be God but when God can choose to become a fine okay let's go with this and let's see let's explore it okay so God limited himself as Jesus Christ then Jesus how did he ascend back to his father when the spirit of the father was inside his son okay. all right you are a human being you have body, soul, and spirit. This is very important. Okay. Now, that even people, as I'm sure you know, you're an educated man. What's the difference between the soul and the spirit? The difference between the soul and the spirit is the spirit came from God because God is a spirit. God is the spirit and the Father's spirit. So, so to speak, would you say God's soul? So I say God's soul. God's soul. Yeah. According to what I know, no, God is not soul. But as God made... So would you say that we have our own spirit and God has... And yes. So yes. So we, we have are, our own spirit and God has his spirit. Yes. We are children or offspring of God the great spirit as spirits. Only as spirits, not as bodies. Our bodies are just... We are offspring of God's spirit. Yes. Could you elaborate on this point for us? Okay. Okay. So, when Jesus came, he said, look... He went to a Samaritan woman. These were the arch enemies of the Jews at that time. Right. And he said, give him some water, blah, blah, blah. And then he got to a point where she said, I know the Messiah, the anointed one is coming. He said, you are right. But he said, there is coming a time where you will worship, all will worship in spirit and in truth. Yeah. You see? Now, the, in spirit, to most people means in spirit <laughs> so if i do a certain act oh that's spiritual no 
you're still doing it as a body is human so in spirit literally means as a spirit that's what Adam did that's why God rejected the priesthood of Aaron because it was carnal the original one of Melchizedek of Adam was spiritual they were like their, their angel brothers that were spirits okay and so, that's what they done all right so God put God put part of his spirit into Jesus so God God we are his image and likeness okay, animals are not we are and so we are spirit soul and body there are people who have even gone outside of their body the body is there and they are here out of body experiences out of body experiences or even death the body is dead <laughs> are you still yes because right, you're okay separate. so what would I like so to say god to god is the same but he's a trillion a quadrillion trillion more than us okay fine so, so now he can do that. all right so now let me say something so so let's put a number on god let's put, <laughs> say let's put the number 100 on god because my mm. numbers i'm not going to go too high but i'm just saying okay. for analogy now yeah. all right so god is 100 for example yeah in his totality his number is 100. Yeah. now he puts his spirit into man into jesus christ Yes. He put part of, as you said, part of his spirit, he put into Let's man. say his soul. His soul. In okay, context fine. of us. He put part of his soul uh -huh. in context to us or his spirit, uh -huh. whatever you like. Uh -huh. Over there. Uh -huh. Alright, cool. So he's taken from himself and putting it into uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. Fine. Yes. So has God now, to, if he's taken from himself, yes. does that mean that he's any less than he was? Uh, no, he's still God. But, still God, but, but he's less of a God now. But the part of him, part of him. the part of him, God have parts. that was able to, according to our, according to as the Israelite, we believe God is the Spirit. Do you, have God, do you believe God and, has parts? And do you, huh? do you believe God has parts? Yes, I believe He is the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Like we would say, body, spirit, soul, and Great, body. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe Jesus was yeah. man or God? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus was right. man who was prayed man. to God. He okay. prayed to God his father. I shake my hand on that. This is what we believe as Muslims as well. Thank That's you. what the Bible says as well. But yeah. the Muslims... Garden of Gethsemane says this but too. But the Muslims do not believe Jesus, they believe Jesus was a prophet. Yes. The Muslims believe Jesus yeah. was a prophet. Yeah. We but, believe he was a but, servant of God. But, Jesus said that he was a servant but as well. I believe Jesus came to be the king of the Jews. And if he was accepted, if he said of John the I Baptist, I agree with that. If John the Baptist, who Jesus did, said in fifteen nine, yes. Matthew fifteen nine, that he came down. Oh, actually, sorry, beg your pardon. It wasn't Matthew fifteen nine. If you just bear with me, I'll bring it up. Okay. Well, to the Jews. While you're looking for it, Jesus 15, said twenty four. He was least Thank in you. the Matthew kingdom. Matthew fifteen twenty four. Beg your pardon. Jesus said, "I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel." Now, if you, I mean, where are you from? Originally. My blood. Yeah. Um, I'm in, half English and half Ugandan. Oh, you're like me, half half English and half something else. Wicked. Oh. English, sir. British. 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 <laughs> half English, half Ugandan, half English, half Arabic. Yeah. Yes. Or half European, should I say, half Arabic? Right. Now, if we were all here to stand to say that we believe that Jesus was sent down for all of us, according to Matthew 15:24, this can never be the case because Jesus said, "I was sent only, yes, only yes. to the lost." sheep of Israel so in accordance to your claim sir this doesn't conflict with that because you said that Jesus is king of the Jews and the Israelis were <laughs> Jews yes okay. if John the Baptist had succeeded in his mission Jesus said he was least in the kingdom of God is greater than he because John the Baptist had the greatest mission to proclaim Jesus as the Messiah but as what, a forerunner fine. but he doubted who so Jesus what, was so what did John the Baptist Jesus, Jesus he, he, he sent someone to ask Jesus the question, are you he who is to come or shall right. we look to another? Right. So what did John say in uh, 1428? I don't know, you tell me. He said that my father is greater than I. Yes. Okay, so okay. this conflicts with that, doesn't it? This conflicts with the fact that Jesus is, is a God, if there's something greater. No, than God. no. We've already taken from God's totality. I, I, I agree with you about, like, I believe in the view that God is one. Oh. God is what? God oh, is not a trinity. I beg your trinity. pardon. I must have missed. No, God is not a trinity. Saying. Okay. God is one. Fine. Okay. God is the God of the Christians, the God of the Muslims, the God of the Hindus, the God of the Buddhists. It's the same God. Allah, Jehovah. Oh, you believe in one, one, one God. La ilaha illallah. Yes. There's no deity where they yes. worship but God. Yes. Now, if Jesus had been, oh, but Allah, literally given the kingship of the Jews, potentially the kingdom of God could come upon the earth through the Roman Empire at that specific time. Unlike 
what the many Christians believe, Jesus did not come to die. He came to be proclaimed as the King of the Jews. We were speaking and about that, weren't we? He will then yeah. proclaim the kingdom the throughout the Roman Jesus Empire. Jesus came to preach. He didn't come yes. for sacrifice. That's why we had a, a Christian. That's why we um, had a Christian history, secular. which parallels Jewish history. Right. So, Jewish so, history. so you, both your your two faiths as Christians are completely different. Yes, I mean, they are. yes. Yeah. I'm an Israelite. I believe yeah. as that in your faith. Tell yeah. God, how you believe in Jesus. So, so we put yourself that. You make a distinction between creator and creation. Yes. Then we've got yourself that you believe that part of God's spirit is inside man. So then we would, in the context of us, it would be like the soul part of us. Absolutely, yeah. So the soul part of us, and then that's when I question, I, I pose the question to you then, does that make God any less than what he was? Because I don't know, ask God. God. No. Yeah. Ask God? Yeah. Oh, There's some so, questions. There's that. So, I mean, regarding us, it's very difficult for me to turn to the scripture with you and say, okay, this is what the scripture says, so let's break it down. Because every time I do, with all respect, Eddie, I'm not saying anything no, bad. No, You've no, been no. so respectful to me. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate yeah. that. Yes. Is that every time I try to do that with you, you say, but you can't take it for what it is. But that's all we can do as human beings. No, no. I'm take it as for what it is because what you're saying is correct. Where, for instance, read that one you just read. Which one, sir? Garden of Gethsemane? No, no, no. The one where you Matthew just, 15, 24? Yeah, read it, read it. Right. So, so Jesus said that he was only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. Because, you see, the um, the Jews were racist. Yeah. And they got to the point, by the time Jesus came, they thought it was only about them. They forgot that the Torah starts with Adam. And what they thought is, oh no, the Torah starts with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. It's like, no, sorry, the Torah starts with Adam. Jesus was the second Adam. Right, thank you. And so that's why well, I say to you, wait a minute, I'm sorry. telling you what I'm going to be telling Jews. Yes, sir, go for it. Right? Now, so God didn't, uh, so Jesus didn't go around saying, I'm Moses, I'm Moses. He said, I'm Adam, I'm Adam, I'm Adam. Why? Because it's not about Moses. It's about who? Adam. Right. Now Moses is part of it, Abraham is a part of it, Enoch is a part of it, but it's all about Adam. Now all of us came by the blood from Adam. May I ask, just a couple, what's your name sir? Paul. Paul. Mohammed, nice to meet you. Mohammed, nice to, to meet you. So, so now what I wanted to speak to you about actually yes. was um, going into the perfection of God, or what we believe is God in perfection, yeah? yes. in his totality. Yes. So as a Muslim we believe Neither that God doesn't ascribe any partners to himself. He is not Shaykh. imperfect in any shape, form or manner. Amen okay. to that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Fine. Now if we were to open Genesis 6-5 and yes. read from there, yeah? Yes. Um, before I do, would you say that, for example, regret itself? As human beings, if we show regret, yes. it means that we've done something to feel sorry for. Now, watch this. In Genesis 6-5, the Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. Genesis 6-6, six, six, the Lord regretted yes. that he had made human beings on earth, number yes. one, and his heart was deeply troubled. Yes. Now, what my what I want to pose to you as a question, just after I read Genesis 6, 7. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the animals, and the birds and the creatures that move along the ground, for I regret, a second time God is saying, I regret that I have made them. Now, if the Bible is not a book of confusion, what I ask is this, if you, if the Bible promotes that the God is the perfect and the all, the all knowing, how can he then feel regret? Secondly, how can his creation trouble him and his heart? By the way, which says that God has a heart now as well. I didn't know, I didn't, I, I've never known that God has a, a vessel, a heart. I'm sure you're going to tell me in your own way that this is symbolic for his something, right? No, and it's not, it's not symbolic. You see, we take spiritual things symbolically. Right. No. Because we can't explain it logically. No. We've never seen no, spirits, because yeah? we're carnal. And so what happens is when someone says this is spiritual, we say, oh, yeah. it's, no. The spiritual is real. The physical is sub-real. Okay. So when God says in my heart, it's more real than my physical. How about the fact that God shows regret? How can God show regret to his creation? And he wanted to change his creation. But if God is the all-knowing, surely, yeah. surely he would never feel regret because he knew what's going to happen. Adam I agree with you. The sick I agree. Of, I of said, faith. let us make man in our own image. Yeah. We yeah. have regret 
Yeah, I mean, I agree with you from what I'm right, We sit on the toilet. Does God sit on the toilet? To the Bible, right? We feel hunger. Does God feel hunger? We, saying, we feel fatigue. Does God feel fatigue? Okay. So why do we feel regret? Good. I mean, why does God feel regret? Good point, bro. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, is there's a point in what you're saying? You, yeah. you yeah. there's I mean, a point in what you're saying. Deficient, but it's not enough regret. for me to say, well, yeah. now I understand. I know. Bro, I'm, I'm going to get the book and throw it away. I'm going to read something to you from, if 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 I may, I want to read something to you from Surah Al Hasha. Inshallah, reflect over that in your own time, God willing, yeah? I want to read something to you from one of the chapters of the Qur'an. This chapter of the Qur'an is called Surah Al-Hashr. I think in English it means the gathering. The gathering, the gathering of the Day right? of Judgment, yeah. Yeah, okay. Zakallah <coughs> khair. So, in this surah, the, the, from the 21st uh, verse downwards, had we, brackets, majestic plural of God, yeah, it doesn't mean we, but had we sent down the Qur'an on a mountain, you would surely have seen it humbling itself and rendering, rending asunder by the fear of Allah. Such are the parables which we put forward to mankind that they may reflect, as we spoke about reflection now, yeah? Okay, he is Allah, than whom there is la ilaha illa huwa, in brackets, none has the right to be worshipped but he, the all-knower of the unseen and the seen, he is the most beneficent, the most merciful. He is Allah, than whom there is la ilaha illa huwa. He repeated himself now. None has the right to be worshipped but he, the king, the holy, the one free from all defects, the giver of security, the watcher over his creatures, the almighty, the compeller, the supreme. Glory be to Allah. High is he above all that they associate as partners with him. Allahu Akbar. You know when I read this book, it makes me, it makes my soul shake. Because this shows the difference between creation and creation. Yeah, this is what Surah al kaf this is another Surah in the Quran. I'm just going to read the first five verses from it, yeah? This is the Surah of the Cave. Alright? All the, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I promise you it's not long. Yeah? No, 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 it's because I know about the cave. Fantastic. So, all the praises and thanks be to Allah, who has sent down to his slave, brackets Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the book, the book, the Quran, and has not placed therein any crookedness. So this is another, by the way, if we want to add it to Surah Al-Nisa, verse 82. It's another challenge from Allah to show the crookedness in the Quran if you can find it. Okay, from verse 2 onwards. He has made it straight to give warning to the disbelievers of a severe punishment from him and to give glad tidings to the believers in brackets in the oneness of Allah, the Islamic monotheism, what we really believe, ascribing no partners with Allah, yeah? Who work righteous deeds that they shall have a fair reward, meaning paradise, yeah? They shall abide therein forever. And to warn those who say, Allah has begotten a son. Yes. No yes, knowledge yes. had no knowledge have they of such a thing, nor had their fathers. Mighty is the word that comes out of their mouths. They utter nothing but a lie. Now, bro, what I would like to finish on because it's time for Maghrib. And I would really like to continue speaking to yourself and, and becoming better acquainted with Paul as well. Maybe next week if we can or after we pray, God willing, if, if you are around. Yeah? Um, is this. As Muslims, we believe all of the prophets before Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with the same thing. Yes. which was the inheritance of the prophets and they all claimed yes. that there's no deity worthy of worship but Allah. Now when we as Muslims read the Bible here, yeah, and this is by the way just to answer a few of the comments that are left in YouTube where some people, and bless you all, I hope all of you come towards truth if you are not on it already, when you say how can Muhammad and how can the other Muslim speakers in Speakers Corner bring the Bible when they don't believe in the Bible. We do not believe in the Bible as its totality. We believe it's been changed, but we use it to show you that what you believe in has crookedness. I, the I agree, the not. Bible has been changed. The Catholic Church put in verses 200 years after the original Gospels regarding the ascension of Jesus. This was because of Catholic theology. Paul, what I would like to ask you... Ask and I agree also, it has been changed yeah. as well. What I would like to ask both of you, yeah, is that, look, Firstly and foremostly, all of the prophets, they came down to say that there's no deity worthy of worship but Allah. With yourself, Paul, it's a completely different format and dimension than when I'm speaking to Eddie, so maybe we can continue in a while, yeah? Bless you, my friend, yeah? Is that this, look. Allah. Right. Quran says, Surah we killed thing. the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the whoa, messenger whoa, 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 whoa. of Allah. But they killed him not, not crucified okay. him. <laughs> but so it was made to appear to them. And those who yes. differ in it are full I of actually doubts, have this reference. Yeah. With no certain knowledge, no one conjecture to chapter follow. Chapter 4, verse yeah. 57. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Yeah. He was not killed. Yes. I know he was revived in the sepulchre. So what I would like to say is... With myrrh and aloes. 
Would you, you believe that? Yes. He spoke, good. He spoke mm. earlier before good. Alhamdulillah. Kwaisa alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The woman went to anoint him three days later. Why would I anoint a dead body? I want to I I think possibly Nicodemus and Mary and Martha of Bethany accompanied Nicodemus because they are not documented in the Gospels of the Bible. Yeah. Simon of Cyrene as well has said that he was his sepulchre. He actually ah, yes. volunteered it. Yes. You see earlier on you said something. You said about uh, uh, John the Baptist not believing in Jesus. Yeah, he doubted. He doubted. Yeah, right. But do you know what Jesus said about him? He is the least in the kingdom. No, he didn't say that. He, did he said that. amongst men born to women, there's yes. none greater than John the Baptist. Yes, because of that was his mission was the greatest. To no, win, no, 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 no. His he mission was the greatest. He didn't say mission. Yes. He said amongst the men born to uh, women, there's yes. none greater than John yes. the Baptist. Yes. So, so just, just, just to end this on, yes. inshallah. Sorry. Yes. Allah has nothing to do with us. Only we have to do. Zakallah khairah. Thank you. Zakallah khairah. Inshallah, we're going to be So just, just to end this, what we said is that. All of the prophets. Sorry, brother. So, just to end it, all of the yes. prophets came with. There's no deity worthy of worship for Allah, and they made a distinction between Allah yes. or Yahweh and creation. Yeah. Elohim, yeah. Elohim. Are they yeah? praying? However, yeah, you like yeah. to put it, Allah. No, it's not a God. No, yeah. no way. There is one way. Yeah. There is one way. You want to say Yahweh? Okay. Now, At Muhammad, they started. Yeah. Them. They start praying. Okay, look, yeah, just we'll to finish listen. this off, inshallah, the Quran is the only we'll book. Yes. The Quran is the only book yes. without any crookedness. Okay? <laughs> Allah, my friend Eddie, I, will, I must. You don't even know who you're talking to, but I have an. Okay, go on, carry, carry on. I'm talking to someone. Like, you're talking to a Muslim, and uh, it's not only my challenge, it's oh, Allah's challenge. I said to you, the Bible has had some changes. Yes. Yeah. Because why? Because truth leads you to honesty. It's supposed to be a yes. book of uh, God. Is what of God? Of see, God? Why is it got lies? Because it came through human beings. Okay, so why has the Quran never been changed? The Quran has never been changed. Never, never sir. The same one Muhammad <laughs> Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You didn't know that, obviously. <laughs> The Quran has never been changed. Never been changed. So you have the original Quran. But there are many Qurans with, with, you have the with, original many, Quran. with many different notes. Like Muhammad's notes of, 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 of interpretation, you can't even of, of be interpretation of the text. Eddie, interpretation is not the same as the original, is it? No, the, the, original, the original is the same, but there, there are many Qurans with oh, no different notes okay. on the text. That's the opinion of the interpreter. Yes. But the source is yes. Muhammad. Yes. Well, it was... Was, uh, well, if you just bear with us, we're just going to wrap this up, inshallah, and we'll go to that. Yeah, look. Well, if you were, for oh, example, to search into the Bible, go on Bible Hub, for example, years where I get a lot of my references down. from. Bible because Hub. Bible yeah, Hub, that's a good, that's a good it's a good one. Yeah. Bible Hub shows and proves that the Bible is broken down into many different <laughs> versions. It's all in the same language, but different versions. Version. Like Quran, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one version. The Old Testament that you know as the Old Testament <laughs> is called the Covenant was written in Hebrew. Okay. The new covenant is written in Aramaic. So we have the original Aramaic okay. from the Eastern Church in Syria. I kind of got a bit angry today. recently. Because, because, not not angry, what but because passionate. Because uh, passionate. Because this is what I had to face when I became born again. It says God will lead you into all truth. When God leads you into all truth, you have to face what you fear and say, how much of this Bible is corrupted? And so I had, I understand what it's like to say, no, I'm just going to just believe and no, no. But that's yeah. And right. so in the end of the day, right. okay, I'm telling you honestly the truth. And this is what we're now telling the Christians. It wasn't written in Greek with a thousand different manuscripts. Though they agree, amazingly agree, still is a thousand. No, it was written in Aramaic. They spoke Aramaic. We still have it today. All right, Eddie. So, Do you know what then our challenge? I'll, I'll give a challenge to you. And it's the same challenge that God gave. And maybe it's something that we can look back at next week, inshallah. Yeah? And anyone else, in fact, that actually wants to take up this challenge. Anyone, anyone watching us, inshallah, if you come down to speak as God is sincerely, we will speak to you with knowledge. If I cannot answer your question, I'm sure that there are many brothers here that can, inshallah. Okay? What I will say is this. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah An-Nisa, which is the fourth surah of the Quran, which is a surah that um, Paul was reading out. He was reading the 154th. 57th. 57th verse. Beg your pardon, I'm going to read out the 82nd verse of it. Of it yeah? If you just bear of, with of, me. Of, of the Quran. Yes. Okay. I believe Jesus went up a mountain and down a mountain. He didn't ascend. Heaven was referred to as the Himalayas. He was traveling to Damascus and beyond. 
there is a tomb in Srinagar Kashmir that where Jesus died he lived to 80 years of age All right, so he married a shepherd girl Mariam and had children with her all right so you know you're you're a lot closer you're, you're very similar in your beliefs to Islam yeah, just professional to, just to I respect Islam. There's, there's, there's a few of the fundamental beliefs yes. of Islam that you that you yes. are actually very close to. What I will say is this: Look, so in the 82nd verse of Surah Al-Nisa, yes, Allah says, "Do they not then consider the Quran carefully?"